Oh, it's Christmas, and as you can tell, I've got my Christmas jumper. Yes, I've got my Darth Vader Christmas jumper. Well, the Star Wars film has just come out, so I thought I might do a double celebration. So I thought I might just do something a bit different for this particular video. But before we do, just in case you're new around here, I create travel content that aims to inspire, inform and amuse. And in this particular video, I'm definitely going to inform you and amuse you with some really weird Christmas traditions from around the world. The Krumpus. So the Krumpus is basically an evil version of Sansa. Some describe him as the Shadow of Sansa, who's mainly known around Austria, but also other parts of Germany. He looks pretty scary with horns, hooves, and you probably wouldn't want to actually meet him. The Krumpus started off as a pagan figure and got integrated into Christian culture. People are known to dress up in special parades, doing bad things to the general public like whipping people with sticks, and just generally terrorizing people. Things have known to get a bit out of hand at these parades, so if you find yourself in one of these parades, you may want to find shelter indoors because it can get a little bit full on. <laughs> Kentucky for Christmas. So what happens when you mix Christmas, fried chicken and great marketing? You get over 4 million Japanese families celebrating Christmas with a bucket of the Colonel's finest fried chicken. It started in 1974 as a small marketing campaign that went national. Christmas really isn't a thing in Japan and doesn't have any cultural roots in the country. And as Christmas had a void to be filled, all it took was one phrase, Kentucky for Christmas, and it became a Japanese tradition. And now people often wait for hours in line or order weeks in advance for their bucket of fried chicken with its 11 herbs and spices. Shoes on windows. The phrase stocking fillers might be a phrase that we're familiar with, but how about shoe fillers? In Iceland, for the 13 days leading up to Christmas, children are encouraged to leave a shoe on the windowsill. Each night, one of the Yule lads leave a present in the shoe, and good kids get a nice present, whereas bad kids get a rotten vegetable. And in the Catalan region, there is a special type of log. You'll see logs with smiley faces called a cacatillo, or poo log. It kind of reminds me of Mr. Hankey of South Park. The idea is that you feed this log during December and on Christmas Eve, after beating it up, it poops out small presents. The small presents include fruit, sweets and other trinkets. But to be honest, I'm not too sure I would want to put that in my mouth after hearing it's been pooed out by a log. But hey, who am I to judge? The Kagania. The Kaganir is a little porcelain figure with his trousers down. Well, Kaganir actually means pooper, so he's definitely having a crap, usually in the nativity scene. The figure is usually seen with a red cap, white shirt, black trousers, which is a traditional outfit in the Catalan region. Funnily enough, is where this tradition comes from. It started appearing in the late 18th century. Some say it's to fertilize the nativity scene and therefore bring good luck. British Christmas crackers. Now this particular tradition I've always thought is a bit weird coming from my home country of the UK. We have a traditional Christmas table decoration which is called the cracker. It involves pulling a small handle from both sides of the parcel and a small paper inside ignites which then causes a crack. <laughs> and apparently the history of it comes from when a sweet shop owner decided to try and sell more of his products and he created he bought these amazing sweets from France, but unfortunately he couldn't actually sell it. And on one particular night, in front of the fireplace, he actually came up with the idea of the cracker when he heard the cracking from the log. The cracker was born. It's evolved to what we see today, which is a tacky hat, a crap toy, and a really, really bad joke. And whilst we're here, I might as well give you a Christmas cracker joke. Get ready for it. What does Santa suffer from when he gets stuck in the chimney? claustrophobia. I did tell you that it's going to be a bit of a crap joke, so yeah, let's, let's move on. Night of the Radishes. In Mexico, there is one particular town that they started a tradition over a hundred years ago. They started carving radishes. It's really, really popular and you have locals and artisans participating in the tradition. There's even a prize for the best radish carving. 
And that's it. Have a Merry Christmas. And if you have a weird tradition in your country, let me know in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video.